So for the last 25 years or so, I've been studying knowledge and knowledge dynamics in organizations, in countries, in regions, and in industrial clusters. A number of years ago, I was working for the World Bank on a project trying to understand how to scale up know-how, not so much documented knowledge, but the knowledge we use in a day-to-day -day format that's less codified and less documented. That led me to be introduced to some people at the Gates Foundation, in particular Dr. Wolfgang Munya, who is trying to understand how to incorporate understanding know-how and understanding knowledge dynamics in the course of some of the projects that the Gates Foundation was funding. He then put together a team led by Noshir Contractor of people from several different disciplines who would work together and take a new approach to changing healthcare behaviors in a very poor part of India. This is a multidisciplinary approach that's different than anything I'd ever experienced before, and especially different in the way large philanthropies and large foundations approach these sort of projects and problems. The disciplines were network science and network understanding, communication science, working, the understanding we have working with teams and working with groups of people, especially small team dynamics, and knowledge management. I, was the, I am the knowledge person on this project, and therefore I was really brought in to understand how people use knowledge and know-how in changing their own behavior, in understanding situations, and especially in appreciating and appropriating new ideas that come to them. Given that we're working in Bihar in northern India, which is a poor area, and people have very limited access to both the internet, to new ideas, and especially to a government that's not quite as efficient in bringing new ideas to healthcare professionals. My role in this project in particular is to understand the types of knowledge people use, the way knowledge is used, how they get new ideas, how they accept new ideas, and how they bring these ideas to the people they're trying to serve. This is knowledge dynamics, and I'd like to emphasize that we're not so much talking about documents or codified knowledge, but we're talking about know-how, how it works, how it moves, and especially how people perceive those who have knowledge. Who influences the people who influence the people who need this healthcare information? Doing this, we're taking a very different approach. Rather than broadcasting and trying to understand all the varied way, people and varied ways people get knowledge, we want to find who are the influencers. Who are the people who, when they speak, when they visit, when they bring forth new ideas, other people follow them. Other people take them seriously. Uh, visualize the network these people are in and then understanding what sorts of knowledge they can use to make more efficient and effective decisions in influencing the very people the Gates Foundation and, uh, and we are trying to influence.